guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here in Edison, New Jersey? I think so. At Unique. We haven't been here in a long time, so yeah. let's go see. This is um, one of Unique's many locations in New York and New Jersey, but we don't come here too often. It's a little bit further out for us. Um, they usually don't do too well here, but we have found some amazing scores here. Um, so maybe it'll just be our lucky day again today. A whole basket of trolls, Janine. Well, Are they marked? 250. Yeah, oh, wait. Okay. They're not bad. 250 for that one. A whole little tray, a little baby one. Yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this troll. <laughs> you gonna get that one? Yeah, I think so. Well, let me look. Let me think. Alright, just gonna think about the trolls. There's a bunch of ones in here. I think they're mostly rust, it looks what like. What is this little clown troll? <laughs> What's this? I was gonna look at <gasps> A little bag of little ones. They're, uh, they're really tiny. Oh my god, look, there's a little Halloween one in there, Janine. Oh, wow. oh, that's really cute. There you go. <laughs> okay, so we are at the first aisle of Christmas. There's another aisle on the other side. Um, this side's looking a little bare. Yeah, not looking too hot. Oh, there's a little Santa mug in here. It's a plastic one. How cute. There's only one. This is older, probably from like the 70s because it is plastic. Probably made in Taiwan. Oh, it's really cute though. That's three dollars. Oh, it's fifty percent off. So only a dollar fifty. But do we want to get this whole bag for just the Santa mug? That's the question. Usually, I'd probably just like redonate all this stuff. I'll think about it. Look at this, guys. What is this? It looks like a blow mold. Oh my gosh, this is definitely a blow mold. Um, it's actually, I recognize that little pamphlet in there. Um, this is probably an empire and it's like a tree light topper, probably from the 90s. I actually have like a ghost and a pumpkin version of these tree light toppers, but I've never seen a Santa before. It's really interesting. It's only 250. So I think I've had to pick this up. Isn't this interesting? <laughs> A little weird like shaped but i mean that's really cool i found this cute little owl he's like a little um i don't know i guess it's this little holder of things he's three dollars he probably had a japan sticker there i just thought he was so cute but i'm looking at the books and i am spotting some goosebumps but these are a bit newer printings um past 10 years so i'm gonna keep looking and see if there's any older ones and I made it to the book section before Janine again, so I feel bad. But it's okay, she doesn't mind, because I show her every single book I find. Hi, finally done looking at the trolls. Yes. Yeah, I just pulled out the Star Wars, it's $10 though, but it's a Star Wars game from Kenner. Kenner? Made in Canada. I wonder if it's Is there a, a date? 1977. Oh, that's cool. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, and look here are all the different pieces. Oh, wow. It might actually be complete and it's in pretty good condition. That's cool. We'll have to pull up some comps and see if it's worth getting, but pretty cool. Vintage board games here are pretty pricey. This one's $10 for this Skittle score bowl. Did you see this, Janine, back here? No. Fisher Price. Oh wow. Six dollars. That's an okay condition. It's 1968. Wow. Maybe a good pickup for your retro toy box. There is some writing on it. I wonder how much this goes for on eBay. But um, it's $6, 25% off, so probably like $5 or so. Diecast mini beetles. What? Made in China. Look at this. It's so interesting. This is probably not that old. the car I want to drive. I wanted to show you, Janine, look at this blow mold. Oh, wow. Never seen that. No, but see the um, tree light topper? Yeah. It's like the ghost and the jack-o'-lantern yeah. made by Empire, but I've never seen the Santa, have you? Tree light topper? You put it upside down? 
I, I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? I also just found this little ghosty reflector. It's so cute. Don't you think, Janine? I do. It's adorable. And it's only 49 cents. Great. So. What's in what little baggie? In this little baggie. <laughs> this little baggie? Look at him. Yeah, he's a little bit older. He's from the 70s, probably. Yeah, for sure, definitely. He's cute. Oh, a little cupie. A little cupie. Oh, look at him. Who's? Him? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is Santa. Santa? Oh, yeah, matches the snowman. Yeah. Cute. How much is it? $3. Yeah, there's some like sequined craft Santa and Mrs. in here. Yeah. Oh, what's this? Oh. Interesting. I saw this the other day and I was surprised it was still here. It's nice. It's made in Italy. His finger's broken off, mm. but. Nice no, it is a nice one. Wow, she's in the toy aisle and she has it to herself. It is empty in this row, which like never happens. Yeah, it's kind of nice. It is sort of nice. She's gonna enjoy herself and look at some toys. <laughs> <laughs> Janine, look at this Halloween thing. Oh, it's a Halloween thing. That. Yeah. The music's really loud, so I'm gonna keep talking. But yeah, look at this whole aisle of toys. Will we find anything vintage or retro? I almost thought this was a McNugget buddy for a second. Oh my goodness. Imagine. What'd you find there? Snap tight 97 a, yeah. Ford Expedition? Yeah, Model? it's fun decals. Oh, how cool. And it's wow. actually, yes, yeah, so it's open, but... Is it complete? I believe it has everything wow, in there. Wow, really cool. It's $10, but so it's 25% off, so $7.50. Yeah. It's got all the stickers in there too. Yep. Wow, very, very, very cool. Is this a good pickup, Janine, for $7.50? Well, you know, um, I was going to ask if my brother wants it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. Maybe like 20 bucks. Nice. Look at this, guys. I just oh, pulled this no. off the shelf. And it's an old one. You can just tell. Chunky oh, glitter, yeah. old mm -hmm. mercury beads, which some of them are missing. But hey, I mean, we've got a lot of stuff at home. Might be able to fix it up. How can you leave it behind for 99 cents, you know? Oh, definitely. Are. So I might have to take this home. Janine found some older garland. Um, no, I don't need it. It's in the, you know, the box is in better condition, but it's sort of like really pretty garland. I like it. Mm -hmm. It is. It's like iridescent. Yeah. Here is a little shelf shot for you guys. So yeah, mostly newer, but you know, we're, we're managing to find a few things here and there. Some ornaments down there, but they are newer. What'd she find? What'd she find? Oh, I just wanted to show you, look, like you, like, you, this projects ah. ghosts on the walls and then you shoot them with this, like, little laser gun. That's cool. That I feel cool? like, have we found the skull we've head seen separately? The, yeah, yeah, we've seen that. That's funny. That's cool. That is cool. And the plastic bill set, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I'm still looking for the other thing. I don't see it. I'm what are you looking for? Here. Some trolls? Trolls that you left behind the other day? It's just one troll. One troll. All right, well, good luck finding it. You're not going to help me? I will, I'm just gonna look around first. Oh. <laughs> Janine over here spotted some Pyrex. We've got this pattern, which I can't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure it's somewhat collectible, more so than this one. And they're about like, they're actually priced a little bit lower than what I would expect. Um, yeah. Like the little one in there is $3, and then this one, I don't know, but the outer one is seven. And then Janine, I think, is looking up this orange one here which oh, is really no. oh little yellow one and this orange one not bad honestly this one might be worth it for a collector but i'm done shipping pyrex <laughs> so for like the, the year one. yeah the orange one is nice do you need some more zoo nice. pals forks no the other ones weren't zoo pals oh these ones are actual zoo pals and i found this 1990 oh wow Ninja Turtle Bowl. That's fun. And it's only uh, $1.99. Oh, how fun is that? Cool. Is, that cool. is it worth anything? Did you look it up? I didn't look it up because I've been like, walking around. Maybe we'll put a comp up here. They're really cool. Yeah. Nice fun. Janine found this really cute uh, Looney Tunes 1996 sheet. It is really cute and it's in really good condition too. How much are they asking? Do you know? 
Yeah, it's only um four ninety nine. Only four ninety nine, which is actually pretty surprising for this thrift store. They like to mark up their vintage sheets and textiles. Uh, that's a really cool find. Thanks. It looks like it's nearly like never really been used. Yeah, it looks great. And I wonder if they have the fitted. Maybe. Scream mask with the blood, six dollars. Is this worth anything, Janine? <laughs> Scream mask I'm yawning, master. I'm sorry. Oh, please, I'm not a master. I don't know what it's from. It looks I like stuff no, we had as kids, you know? I am no master. With the pump. The heart pump. I don't know. I don't she know how to She doesn't know how to tell. I thought you knew everything about screen masks. Oh, stop. It was like all dried up. So gross. gross me. Oh. Yeah. Old mouse trap over here. This is really cool. Wow. 1975. Six dollars. That's really cool. Oh. We don't have this one. Well, no, I've never actually found this. This is a general phone. No, I've never found this one before. The thing is broken though. I mean, I guess you could hot glue it together if you wanted to, but yeah. it's only two dollars too. Look at that! Look at that! You gonna get it? You want it? I don't personally like him enough. I, I like him. I would probably. I'd want to resell it, but if you want it, like, by all means. He's like from the 90s, right? He's so cute, yeah. Does it have a year? I don't think so. I don't know. But he's thick. Yeah. You know, he's older. Him. No, I've he's a little a lot. harder to find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good one. It's a good one. Look, Janine. Oh, it's wow. a little made in Japan flounder for three dollars. Isn't he cute? He's very cute. He's very floundery, isn't he? Yeah, he's a little chip. He's got a little chip though. I do like him though. He's cute. Look guys, I also spotted a Rudolph the Red Dolls reindeer table cover. $1.99. This is probably a little bit older too. Oh, how cute. I don't know if I'll get this. These tablecloths are a little harder to resell because they're sort of like disposable. Um, they don't sell as well, so I don't know if I'm going to get either one of them. Janine found a spooky devil mask. It's just like here. It's like creepy. Yeah, it's scary, but look what I found. Oh, goggle glasses. Did you help me? cute. Yeah. Show the people. Aren't they cute? They're $5 oh, they're each cute. though. They're in great condition though. 1978. Five dollars. They are cute. Cheers. <laughs> What'd you find there? Did you find another one? The Hamburglar? Hamburglar hooks the hamburgers. Wow, I love all the little hamburgers in the grass. Know, it's like, so what cute. are they doing? It's six dollars though. Yeah. But it might be, I don't know. I don't know how much it goes for on eBay. It's cool. 1980. It's older. It's a pass on it. You like those little First hamburgers? I got a pass. I mean, I love it, but it's a little pricey, yeah. I found a little Care Bears mug. It's made in Korea under that sticker. It's really cute. It's definitely from, like, you know, the 80s. But I just love it. I probably won't get it, but it's only it's 99 cents, so it's a great pickup. Really cute. I don't think I would use it. A little too small. What'd you yeah, find there? I found, I found a dinosaur from 1989, and he's so big. Look at that. Where does it say? 1989. Isn't it nice that they used to put the actual name of the dinosaur on the dinosaur? Yeah, but look at his little front arms. I think he's so cool, but he's 799 and I'm just like not vibing with his arms. Mm. Otherwise we might have had an issue. Mm. Can I see the doorbell? What? Show show what you found in the Halloween section. I found this. It's maybe I guess it's not a doorbell. It's like a window suction cup window hanger. Oh. And it's a Easter Unlimited and it nice. lights up. How much is it? $1.49. Wow. It's pink. It's 50% off, I think. It's really good. Yeah. Nice. I found these um linen some disco balls. You could help me. Yeah. Thank you. I found these like linen Christmas napkins, which like I'm a little confused on if they're older or newer. But I guess, yeah, I guess they could be from the 70s. They're really cute. That's what I think. Yeah, and they're only $2 for three, I think. I searched the tablecloths every single time and I finally came across a vintage tablecloth. This is probably from like the 70s, maybe even the 
early 80s um but it's got that like iconic look to it it's not going to be super resellable it's five dollars but i sort of like the size i mean this could probably go for like 15 dollars maybe it is really nice it might even be from like the 70s, early 70s. Um, but it's a cute little size. I might pick it up for our uh, table for when we do our live sales. I'm gonna open it up and see if there's any stains or anything, but it's not bad, exciting. So it's a square tablecloth. It's actually a lot nicer than I thought. And it's definitely probably earlier than the 80s. It's sort of a square. Um, and I think I'm gonna pick it up. What do you think, Janine? I mean, vintage tablecloth at the thrift store? It's pretty. Yeah. I like it. 70s, right? Yeah. I think so. Yep. So I guess I got to the books before Janine because I found some goosebumps. We've got a newer printer of Horrorland, Say Cheese and Die, a classic. Two Monster Bloods, one and two. And then The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. And there's Janine over there. There she is. We're going to show her. She's going to be pretty surprised. I think she'll also be pretty excited that we found. You see I did not see that. Cute. That's nice. Someone painted it. <laughs> I think I found all of them. This is the same location where you found them recently, too. Yeah. So. Monster blood. Are those right? dinosaurs? Maybe. Dinosaurs? Oh, this is the one that I had him sign. Yep. R.L. Stein. Another monster blood. Yep. Say cheese and die. Classic. Mm -hmm. And a newer Horland. Yeah. So I think I might have found them all. There aren't a ton of books out, but can you believe? More goosebumps? Great eye, Laura. Thank you. Okay, so Janine is deciding to leave them behind because she has all of them in her collection. Yeah, I have all of them. They're two ninety nine. dollars yeah. um, It's fair for a collector, but if we were to pick them up to flip next year or even this year, um, it wouldn't be a lot, you know, to... It doesn't leave a lot, so... We're gonna leave them behind, but really cool to see. Mm -hmm. I think some of them are first printing as well. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's that. But Look at what Janine just pulled out. How cool is that? Originally 69 cents. Is there a date in here that we can look at? I'm thinking 1960s. Yeah, definitely, right? Yeah. Look at that. 1971. Mm -hmm. Wasn't I? Uh, Probably an antique. Maybe. Mm, maybe. I mean, that's really fun. That's so cool. Wow. Cool, cool. I want to show you guys this. Um, What's this thing called? Jigsaw puzzle I just found. It was 29 cents originally. And look, it's a reindeer. And all the pieces are in here. I just put it together, but I moved it and it moved around really easily. But look at that old label. This is older, made in USA. This is from like the 60s and it's only $2. So definitely going to pick this up. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or resell it, but I've never come across like a Christmas jigsaw puzzle, right? That's really cool, yeah. What'd you find? I found a family of the uh, Count Serta sheep. Oh, look at that. This is a baby. Mm -hmm. And this is, I guess, uh, the adults. Cute. Yep. And they're how much each? Two ninety nine. So a dollar fifty. And I found this thing. He's cute. What is he? I don't know. <laughs> Spooky pumpkin puzzle. That's fun. That is fun. Before we hop into the next portion of the video, I wanted to show you guys that the puzzle was complete. Every piece was in there. How cool is this vintage puzzle? Originally twenty nine cents and it was made in the US. This is probably from the 60s. It's a really cool find, one that I've never really come across anymore. And just goes to show you that you always have to check almost every aisle at the thrift store. You never know what can be hiding up in the shelves. Thank you guys so much for joining in today's thrifting adventure. I don't know if you guys noticed, but Janine and I changed outfits a couple of times during this video. And that's because this footage was shot over the course of about a week or two. It was just little trips that we made where we didn't have enough content for a full video, but we felt like the finds were good. We hope you guys enjoyed. We are actually getting ready to go to a flea market now and hopefully we'll find some good stuff. So once again, thanks for joining us guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.